this move, but I am telling you, this is the strongest 10. Now, if I have to choose someone, and I think you're making me, it would only be Arkansas for a very silly reason. She was first. Okay. I think the competition was so fierce, I'm just afraid for her. All right, well, we're about to find out if the selection committee and you are on the same page. Over to you, Vanessa. Thanks, Nick. Right now, I'm with Miss Teen USA 2019. Kaylee Garris, wow, you are gorgeous. And you're still in that glow, that fresh glow, because she won on this very stage just a few days ago. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You are about to get another big sister tonight. Your big sisters are going to be Miss Universe and Miss USA. So what's something that you're looking forward to in your new big sister? I'm, I'm looking forward to laughing. I love cracking jokes. Even though a lot of people say they're not funny, I find them hilarious. And I love doing like little dance moves to pass the time. I hear them laughing. We got a couple giggles. So far, so good. Great job, ladies. So I'm just really looking forward to spending time with them. Well, congratulations. Enjoy your reign. Thank you so much. Wow. I love her. All right. Enough with all the suspense. I know you guys are ready for it. So it's time to announce our top five. The results have been tabulated by the accounting firm of EY. Here we go. The first contestant in the final five is... New Mexico! New Mexico! Joining her in the finals is... North Carolina! North Carolina! One step closer to the crown is... Nevada! Nevada! Our fourth finalist is... Oklahoma! Six women are waiting to hear their names called, but there is only one spot remaining. The last contestant to make the top five is Arkansas! Arkansas! USA Top 5 Finalists. Wow. That was a ton of stress, Vanessa. Man. I know, I know, but the contestants are used to handling this level of pressure, right, ladies? No, no, no. The contestants were great. I was actually talking about myself. This is nerve-wracking up here. All right, well, get it together, Lachey, because we are going right into the next round, which is the final question. Final question. Okay, let's do it. Each finalist will be asked a question. And here's where it gets very interesting. The questions were actually written by their fellow contestants. Each finalist will have 30 seconds to answer their randomly selected question. And when their time is up, they'll hear this sound. Now get ready because the final question begins right now. All right, New Mexico, please join me center stage. New Mexico. Your question comes from Colorado. Hi, Allie. Hi. Congrats. Are you ready? Thank you. Yes, I am. The 2020 election is right around the corner. What is one issue you would like all candidates to address and why? Well, being from a border state and being born and raised in a border city, immigration is something that is very important to me. This is not a black and white issue, and that is why we need to have discussions and continue to listen to each other. I think that there's so many people out there wanting the American dream. And my parents immigrated here from Monterrey, Mexico. 
<laughs> and I am their representation of their American dream. Thank you, New Mexico. North Carolina, come on down. All right, North Carolina, your question comes from Massachusetts. Congratulations, Chesley. Thank you. So your question is, for the past two years, the hashtag MeToo and hashtag Time's Up have dominated our national conversation. However, some believe it has only deepened the divide between men and women. Have these movements gone too far? I don't think these movements have gone too far. What Me Too and Time's Up are about are making sure that we foster safe and inclusive workplaces in our country. As an attorney, that's exactly what I want to hear, and that's exactly what I want for this country. I think they're good movements. Thank you, North Carolina. Nevada, please step forward. All right, Nevada, your question comes from Michigan. Hello, Nevada. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. So your question is, in October, my friend Kelsey Quayle was fatally shot while innocently driving to work. In your opinion, what is the largest contributing factor to the high rate of gun violence in our nation? I think that what contributes to the high rate of gun violence is the availability to all of the weapons. I think there has to be another look into the gun reform and we have to consider mental health in this situation as well because this is not just about guns. This is about what is going on in the in the minds of these of these um, of these people, uh, sorry, of these people who are using these weapons against everyone. It's definitely a mental health issue. It's not just a gun problem. Thank you, Nevada. Oklahoma, please join me, center stage. All right, Oklahoma, your question comes from North Dakota. Hey, girl, congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Voting is an American right yet only two states currently allow their prison populations to vote. Do you believe that incarcerated should be allowed to participate in our elections? Well, when it comes down to this situation, I definitely, definitely believe that if you're a law-abiding citizen, then you have every right to vote. However, if you do anything that breaks the law, then you should be held accountable until you are released and serve your time. Thank you, Oklahoma. Arkansas, please join me down center. All right, Arkansas, your question comes from Mississippi. Hello, Arkansas. Hey, Madeline. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, your question is, America is one of the most racially diverse countries in the world, yet it is also one of the most racially divided. Why do you think this is? Well, I think diversity is one of the most unique things about our country, and it's one of the most special, and we should cultivate that. We shouldn't be divided. We shouldn't look at our fellow contestants, our fellow man, and say, you aren't like me, so I don't like you. You don't look like me, so I am racist against you. We should come together and, in, and involve everyone in our lives. I think these 51 contestants that have stood up here tonight represent our country so well because they are so diverse. And I think that that is exactly what we need in our world. We need to celebrate our diversity. Thank you, Arkansas. Well, I, uh, I gotta give it to these women. I gotta give them credit. I mean, they make answering these questions on the spot look absolutely effortless. That's the name of the game at Miss USA. Up next, two more contestants will be eliminated and our top three will deliver their final word. This is Miss USA live on Fox.